This is the Traverse Rescue 540. This system is approved for two person belays as well. It has a couple of different components to it. One of them being this toggle lever on the back. The toggle is designed to unload the belay system when it becomes loaded. You have to articulate it, which then causes the interior portion to deviate back and release the locking mechanism. This is a little bit fireman proof in that if you, do, if you forget to mind it or are not managing it appropriately, it will seize up and lock on its own. There's nothing to set. So it's a very safe device. To open the system up, you depress the detent pin on the front hub, which then allows you to take the front side plate off. Take your rope, start at the bottom or back side. You can see there's a rigging diagram right here that shows you that both tails should end up progressing out of the bottom side of the system. Stay below the divider pins, wrap around again, and back down again on top of the divider pins. Once the rope is rigged in like such, take the side plate back, line up the two side pins, depress the detent, and press it in. Ensure that the side plate is fully locked by making sure that all the bearings around the side extend out and snap into place. Once it's rigged, attach your steel or G-rated carabiner and connect it to your anchor point. The same principles as a munter hitch are utilized to manipulate the 540 belay. So once your rescuer is rigged in and is ready to descend, get your body in a position so that you're oriented towards the 540 you're going to use that same shuttling position with the hands, thumbs out, grab the load bearing portion of the rope, and as you pull, make sure that you're feeding rope into the 540. Pull that Z up, allow the rescuer to take it, shuttle hands, feed rope, and pull up. If you do not shuttle rope in and you just try to pull rope with a sudden impact load or an articulating load, the system is going to lock. Once the system becomes locked, you'll see that the toggle lever articulates. The only way to ride it or allow it to travel again is to disengage that. Once it's disengaged, you can pull your slack, resetting the belay, and go back to normal belay operations.